as we light up, Robert has a question. Okay, so as I'm getting into this journey of smoking cigars on the regular, um, there comes a point in my day where, in the week, where we do the show, and then I say, want to go home and have another cigar. But I'm still tasting the cigar we did for the show. How does one cleanse the palate of the taste of the former cigar? With fire. Just, I mean, that's the, the best way to cleanse most things is with fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah just exactly. Use a uh, crème brûlée torch. It's easier. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That Listerine? is an excellent question. There's, there's actually several different uh, schools of thought on this. Um, it's really a matter of preference. As I take a couple of puffs, it's pretty good so far. Um, so you can cleanse the palate easily by, you know, doing a doing a simple mouthwash. Uh, if you get in there, you know, it. Ma- the reason I say mouthwash is because mouthwash is going to change the taste that's in your mouth almost immediately to where you only taste the mouthwash. Now that can overpower, you know, the next thing you're going to smoke for the first couple of puffs. So you may not want to go that route. Uh, another thing you could do is um, I've heard that chocolate. Chocolate will actually help cleanse your palate a little bit. Uh, and uh, let it be, uh, it'll, again, it'll change the flavor that's in your mouth to, you know, chocolate instead of the taste of your previous cigar. So I, I'm thinking pretty much anything that is, is strong enough to overpower whatever that previous taste was to actually cleanse it and then um like i said the only thing you got to watch out for is if it's too overpowering um then you'll just taste whatever you just put in your mouth so i wouldn't say brush your teeth because brushing your teeth literally will take that feeling out of your mouth and taste it out of your mouth yep. for a lot longer than just rinsing with something i, f- um, I find something that's neutral that, that kind of neutralizes the flavors that are in your mouth like a like a quarter of a glass of milk that's a good one, yeah. Yeah, a quarter glass of milk would be good. Yeah, I think uh, or, that the uh, the fats in the milk would also coat your tongue a little bit and kind of uh-huh. re- retrain your tongue, maybe. And on that note, that sounds like bullshit, eat maybe. a steak and then smoke another cigar. There you go. Because honestly, if you have a meal too, that'll cleanse yeah. it to the point where you can have something else to eat and or something else to smoke and uh, taste the taste the new cigar as well. Or whiskey. Well, whiskey's good. Just keep, um, just keep drinking. I was about to say, if you if you keep drinking, it, it, if you it just numbs your whole face. <laughs> but then you won't even know what you smoked the second time, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you go for the cheaper stuff the second time around. Goal in that case. But um, yeah, that's about all the tips I have for that. I mean, like I said, just get something that's a little bit stronger. Uh, that will change the flavor of your mouth. That way, it'll kind of cleanse it for the next go around. All right, good to know. Thank you. All right. Mm. Just guzzle so, a bottle of Listerine. I mean, the thing about Listerine, though, that will change the flavor of your mouth to where you can't even taste what you're what you're about to for for like smoke. days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm imagining like you know orange juice after brushing your teeth, kind of. <laughs> too much yeah. Cool. yeah exactly yeah and that's what i say and don't brush if you brush your teeth yes it's good for your health i'm not saying it's not it's very good to brush after you smoke but uh if you're going to smoke again or if you're just trying to cleanse the palate that changes your palate completely so even what yeah. you're about to eat right after that completely changes flavor so health tips from the leaf cutters you're welcome folks one out of one out of five dentists agree. <laughs> Doubt it. It's always the, well, you know, it's the guy, it's the fifth guy out of the four out of five that doesn't agree with anybody else. So maybe he'll agree with us. Yeah, let's get that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like he's going against the grain anyway. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. I don't say. believe your science. <laughs> 